guys what, what I'm doing. Okay, uh, there's three parts to the tracker, and I'll show you down here. Click on uh, the layer, hit U twice, and um, you will bring up your your um, uh, already set um, keyframes, and two U's really quick will bring up your effects. Okay, and what we have here are three parts to our tracker. Uh, we have the feature center, we have the offset, and we have the attach point. Um, and when you look, if you can see my arrow really closely, uh, when I go over the, um, the first inside frame, if I'm on top of it, it turns white. If I just go outside of it, it'll turn black. And if I go completely out of it, it'll turn black, but the little arrows that are in there will disappear. So to move the entire thing, you want to get really close to this to the uh, first box on the inside where you'll see the main arrow and like a four pointy arrow and the arrow is black and you'll be able to move the whole thing if you go in further and the arrow it turns white when you move it that little crosshair in the, in the center won't move with it I'll explain in a second so I don't know why After Effects made it this way um, but they did it's a pain in the ass um, the center point is has nothing to do with the actual tracking. It has to do when you apply the tracking to another layer or apply another layer to the tracking. What that crosshair is is where the layer that you're attaching to your tracking that is where it will follow. Uh, that's the point at which the layer will attach itself. So you could track all you want but if this little uh, little guy is off somewhere else, that's where um, your object will track to. Well, I'll, I'll show you how in a second. So um, you want to keep this guy as close to the center as possible. I don't know why After Effects did that. Why they just didn't, you know, automatically keep it in the center of of your tracking. I don't know. I think it's stupid. But anyway, um, and what you want to do is the second frame, uh, or well, the first frame. Um, actually constrains um, the area in which you're tracking so um, this shouldn't be too hard because it, it's it's a pretty easy thing to look at nice uh, light gray black with a point it should be fra fairly easy to track now this thing here um, this basically looks at where um, the inner box is tracking uh, so if your movement is going from right to left so we're going from, um, yeah, the other right, yeah, going from right to left, you want to have this box so that more of it is out to the left-hand side. So when your uh, box moves to, moves to the left, uh, this frame will actually see it going to the left, and it'll follow. Um, if you have it all the way to the right, it's not going to notice it and it'll I'll, I'll show you um, so seeing as how this is is uh, a pretty easy uh, a pretty good um, feature the um, for the uh, uh, track to look at um, sorry this has become a pain in the butt because my Camtasia is on and it's screwing with the uh, the arrow Let's see. There we go. Okay. Ah, okay. So we have our tracking controls over here. Uh, first thing you want to do, I can't remember if I said, you know, hit track motion. Um, main source, uh, you want to look at. There's several layers in there. Um, hit uh, red solid and uh, current tracker. Uh, if you have more than one uh, tracker in there, uh, click on tracker one. Type transform. Leave on transform. Um, three things you can do uh, scale rotate or position uh, we're going to be doing position and edit target and that stuff I'll get to in just a minute analyze is uh, telling the computer well I want you to look at this now um, you can analyze one frame in reverse analyze in reverse and anal analyze forward and analyze one frame forward <coughs> um, so what you want to do is Okay, well, there's there's 
two ways of doing it, either starting at the beginning and analyzing forward. Some people start in the middle, analyze backwards, come back to the middle, then analyze forward. They say that works a lot better. I really don't see the difference. Um, so I'm just going to analyze forward. Um, so what I'm going to do is just to make sure that tracking is good, I'm going to start with one frame forward and one frame forward, one frame forward, and it looks like it's doing pretty good. So I'm just going to hit uh, analyze forward and just watch the track go at it. Okay, I'm going to stop. Now we can see it's uh, moving from right of the screen to the left. And I'm going to take the outer box and I'm going to widen it. And I'm going to move it to the left hand side. And it's probably not going to do it because it's, it's not moving fast enough. Um, no, it's, it's not moving fast enough so it's not going to do it. But anyway, if it's moving fast enough and if the next frame the box moved outside um, the second uh, tracking frame. It wouldn't track. It, w it wouldn't track. So you would want to keep you want to keep the outer track frame uh, facing the direction um, that the object is moving. Uh, now let's take this track point here, the center attach point for the uh, object, and move that out. And we're just going to continue to continue to track. I'm going to stop, continue again. The uh, thing that sucks here is that there's actually pixelization in there um, because of the grayscale. If you notice, the tracking is slowly moving down the side of the box, and it's not um, staying up in the corner like it should. Uh, that's because the grayscale is creating pixels and it's looking at another pixel and it's just screwing it up. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back into the very beginning and I'm going to go to my comp that has the effect on it and go to uh, my workspace and take the hue saturation, delete it. So I've got a nice bright red uh, box here. Go back to my tracking workspace and we're still on the uh, tracking and go in. I still see some edging there so we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Let's see here. Current track none. Okay, I guess I deleted all that. Okay, well we gotta start again. Uh, track motion and going over this the first frame, make sure it's black, drag it up. Lay it there. Actually I'm gonna tighten up this square really good so hopefully it won't be moving around too much and we can just tighten this up here okay and we can just track forward analyze forward okay and I'm just gonna let it rip and it's probably gonna take an extra minute or two because it's it, kinda slow it's gotta go frame by frame And we're going to stop here. We're going to zoom in. We're going to take a look at. It. There is a little bit of wiggling. Um, it's it's not too bad. We probably have to go back and manually um, fix everything. Well, like I said before, I'm going to take um, this point here, uh, which is where you will attach your new layer. 